It was March 9th, 2024, and it was the annual Binghamton train show in the spring, with lots of goodies all around, with new vendors and new businesses, like the freight yard here, located in Endicott, New York. You can find trains from all scales and eras, such as this Lionel template train. This has got to be one of the oldest running trains in the building, if not in New York State. These two nerds have been buying stuff for three hours, with me included. It's the draft card. Somebody must have made it. Somebody must have made the determination. I've seen those in old videos. Yeah. I like that. A rare My Life's Yeah, a rare My Life's Tracks behind the scenes logo. Moment. No trip is ever complete without visiting the little scale engines. <laughs> Are you gonna leave that in? I might. <laughs> Every time you ask that, it happens. You leave it in? Yes. <laughs> Great respect for these guys. My fat fingers look very good. Z scale. Smaller than your own scale. Yeah. Let me behind that is the template train back there. Yeah, a template. <laughs> One of the sets I kept bringing up during the entire show was this Norfolk Southern 40th Anniversary set by Lionel and his Lionel Legacy. Man, I wish Norfolk Southern would make this the primary paint scheme, as it looks better than the horse head in my opinion. At the show, we ran into a few friends, like Mark from My Life's Tracks, Luke from Nepa NJ Railfan, Evan from Switchpoint Productions, and Justin from UP3982 Challenger. We made our purchases and out the door we went, but we took note of the next show and when it was gonna be. And then after that, it was lunchtime. We went to Johnson City and Wegmans. Of course, no trip to Johnson City would be complete without the Wegmans train. PRR number 7680. So if you want to see more footage of the uh, PRR7680 running around the store, or the Wegmans train in general, I got other videos, I'll pop them up right now.
definitely seems to be going faster than usual, so not much wait time for the train to come back around. The best subs around are Wegman subs. They fill you up. And once our bellies were full, it was time to bring the goodies home. So here is everything that we got at Binghamton. We have DNH 5012. 703, which is a U30C, an SD70M Electromotive Division uh, Demonstrator, where to become CSX, passenger cars, an auto rack, an old one too, and a seaboard box car built by Katie. All right, the SD70M is up first. Just because I have my modern cars off. I mean on, so let's go. EMDX SD70M 7008 was built in 1995 and demonstrated on a ton of different railroads such as UP and CSX. And continued to demonstrate on different railroads until CSX eventually bought the unit in 2001 and renumbered it to 4683. Then the unit was repainted into Yellow Nose 2, and to this day wears the Yellow Nose 3 and is still in regular service. The model here that you see is Athen, and this is one of the earlier models from the early 2010s. Great model, except there's no hoses and it's a bit lightweight, but I bought it because of the paint scheme, and it just looks really good. Plus, it can go with many things on your layout. It can run on any railroad from the 90s up until the mid 2000s. DNH RS36 number 5012 was built in January 1963 and served up to the DNH all the way until the end in 1991. Eventually, the Batten Kill Railroad got a hold of 5012, and unlike many of its siblings, 5012 survives to this day and continues to work on the Batten Kill Railroad. My model is an Atlas locomotive. There's only a few issues. It's a great runner. But it's missing its front and back handrails and its walkway boards. Other than that, the motor is completely silent on the unit and is a very smooth runner. Here's a few pictures of the new rolling stock with the auto rack and the seaboard box car. But just as exciting was our next engine. DH 703 was built in March 1967 and served the DH until 1978, where she was retired and sold. Information on the unit afterwards is very scarce, but we are led to believe that it was scrapped sometime after 1978. The model we have here is part of Atlas Silver Series 
And boy, oh boy, Atlas knocked it out of the ballpark for this one. The lighting is extremely impressive as the light shines bright and even shines off the walls in my room. So the best part of this engine, in my opinion, is the lighting. Another great one I can't recommend enough. And that was pretty much the Binghamton Train Show. If you liked the video, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button faster than Randy Orton can do an RKO. Oh, Until then, thanks for watching. Let's surround the Ben. God bless.